on this episode of Lapeef, let's talk. Having unprotected sex. And we need to also talk about that. So having that vasectomy, if that's what you want to do as a man, that's your choice. But there's other things that happen when you have sex that's unprotected. So we need to have the whole entire conversation. That's all I'm saying. But the conversation and the question had nothing to do with whether or not people are being protected. The conversation was based off of whether men should or if it's selfish for men. And I'm not disagreeing with you, Courtney. I want to be clear on that, right? The conversation is how can women say that it's selfish for men to decide what it is that they want to do with their bodies? That is that's weird. To me. That's where y'all took the conversation. Right. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. I'm not question. necessarily that's disagreeing with you. But how can women have a con- have a say oh, yeah, one at a time, yeah. when literally men have been subjecting themselves to women beating them over the head with the my body, my choice slogan? That's crazy to me. I said what I said. If you're running out, I said what I said to me because of Roe v. Wade being overturned, then I think that is ridiculous. If that is what you're doing. Fellas, you, you hear it. This is this is how women operate before this in day, mass. No intention the first one. two women no said it's selfish. One. That's now crazy. You get one. How can a... Listen, listen. We, you can feel how you want to feel as a man with regard to how it is, how many kids you want to have or whatever. But for a woman to tell you that it's selfish for you to decide what you want to do with your body is insane considering all of the rhetoric, all of the conversations and all of this my body, my choice conversation that's been that having for an extended period of time. It does not matter the reason. I don't care if it was Roe v. Wade. None of that matters. It's your decision. Don't let no woman have any impact or influence as to, and this is one of the problems is because men listen to women into deciding what it is that they're going to do when they should be the leaders, the yeah, leaders it into a double of standard. their own it's body not. first and then in their own household. You decide your fate. Don't let no woman shame you into doing what you want to do or doing the opposite of what you want to do with your dick in your body, bro. Yeah, Nobody. What are you saying? Right, well, hold on. Let me add, let me add some context to this conversation. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, wait, on, it would be on, different I if can... I said the opposite on the other side, okay, but I'm not. So, I'm not one of those people running out here saying what right, you just said. So, I'm not that person. So. Hey, okay. we're gonna go to logic, then we're we'll gonna go to Courtney. Oh, hey, just think women that do, do, right? do that is, are selfish as well. Women that get random <laughs> random abortions are selfish as well. <laughs> wait, so Kayla, wow. do you think a woman has the right? Let's say. Q, Q. Okay. Let me okay. add context to this conversation. Everybody has the right. Everybody has the right to do whatever they want. Right. I still think it's selfish. I still think no, women no, that no, use no, abortion no. as a contraception no, deletion, are deletion, selfish. Deletion. I think men that are doing this specifically for Roe versus Wade are selfish. So I'm not okay. being a hypocrite. So, I'm saying the Kayla, same shit. Kayla, to both hold women. Up. See, Kayla, <laughs> Kayla, hold up. Because this is what we don't do as black people. Read. So now I'm going to add context to this topic. Because y'all probably saw it on fucking um, what you call that shit, um, the shade room. All right. So now the context of the conversation is that this: it's only certain states that they saw rise. Out of them certain states is the states with the harshest abortion law. Well, the swiftest abortion laws. Deletion. Deletion. They were trigger states. I, I know it's cool. It's the ones that had doing that. Okay. So, so that one, I want to just add context to it. So now Texas, Missouri, Florida, Tennessee, they got tough abortion laws now. So what it is, is that I'm going to just say it, the simp stepped up to, look, the simp stepped up to the plate and you do not see simps complaining. You do not see simps out here protesting. Because see what the simps did. She said, hey, you better go get that. I saw a sign that said do that. And the simps said, okay. They went and did it. And they are not complaining nowhere. They said, hey, look, my body, my choice. I got a choice to get this procedure done. I'm going to do it. And then the women, in the other hand, well, all the states they was complaining in, they was compl- they was they was riding in Colorado. Colorado got the craziest abortion laws in the United States. You can goddamn delete a child up to thirty four months 
and then um, I think it's 20 we, something and 34 months. Crazy. That's we, almost nine months. So now, but you still have women riding them states. D.C. have some of the similar abortion laws. Women was riding. You had uh, L.A. You know it's California. So women was riding in them places. But the men in these states where the laws don't benefit them and their spouse, guess what they did? They took action, they shut their mouth, and they just got them sat down and ate their SIM card. Why is we seeing a difference between men action and women action? That's my only thing. Wait, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, I'm going to go to so. Courtney first, and then yeah. uh, I'll go to you, Ali. Go ahead, Ms. Courtney Michelle. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't, I'm not a fan of vasectomies. Um, I think there's probably a lot of complications. First, going through surgery. Um, I don't even know really the idea of it backing up if you need to ejaculate and you can't. So, um, I understand what Anton is saying. Uh, if it's a man's choice and it's his body, it's his penis. If he wants to snip it or do whatever, he can and if that's what he feels that's going to protect him for that, he can. My idea or what I'm thinking is, why do you feel like you have to do that? That procedure is surgery. So instead of wearing a condom, you would prefer to wear, you would prefer to go to surgery. So we're not going to talk about STDs. We're not talking about other complications that you can have with having sex unprotected. So we just completely forget about that. You need to wrap it up. There's still herpes and AIDS and all that still out here. So we're worried about abortions, which we should. You can I get worry. herpes with a rubber. Okay. Well, you understand what I'm saying. It's still no, I don't. The likelihood I'll, is I'll repeat it. Are we acting like no. the likelihood not less? Okay. I'll 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 repeat it for you since you don't understand the the complications of also having unprotected sex. And we need to also talk about that. So having that vasectomy, if that's what you want to do as a man, that's your choice. But there's other things that happen when you have sex that's unprotected. So we need to have the whole entire conversation. That's all I'm saying. But the conversation and the question had nothing to do with whether or not people are being protected. The conversation was based off of whether men should or if it's selfish for men. And I'm not disagreeing with you, Courtney. I want to be clear on that, right? The conversation is how can women say that it's selfish for men to decide what it is that they want to do with their bodies? That is that's weird. To me. That's where y'all took the conversation. Right. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. I'm not question. necessarily that's disagreeing with you. But how can women have a can, have a say oh, yeah, one at a time, yeah. when literally men have been subjecting themselves to women beating them over the head with the my body, my choice slogan? That's crazy to me. 